I started posting covers about three years ago. And then I got bored and started posting my original songs. Tell me why I feel so sick every time something goes my way. And why I break our friendships just so I have something to say. And now my first ever EP is out, Ventura Boulevard, and um, yeah, I'm just excited to talk about it a little bit more. If I'm still happy, cause it feels like... I think something um, a lot of people don't really know is I've been doing music for a long time for being 17. I joined my first band when I was 10, and um, I've been in and out of a few deals since then. Finally just released the first thing. <laughs> Okay, welcome. This is the back entrance to the studio. Come the fuck in, let's go! This is Studio A, the best one. Welcome. Um, hi. This is, um, this is a spot. This is where I made f four and a half songs, um, from the EP. Um, this piano, my little friend. Nikki usually sits over there. He doesn't like being on camera. All right, it's getting there. But yeah, this is this is the spot. This is where we made everything and wrote the songs and where Nikki produced it. And it's on Ventura, hence why I called EP Ventura Boulevard because I used to live on Ventura and my studio is on Ventura. I basically just felt like I grew up on Ventura. All my little spots are up and down. And um, yeah, it was just the one street that I would drive every single day to get back and forth between the two places and then I'd walk and go to my coffee shop and restaurants and whatever else and so it's just like a very vital piece of my teenage years and childhood and it felt like an important time stamp for those for those years <laughs> because every other song on the EP, basically at least 50% of the song was done here. And that's the only one on the EP that was um, more of like a session song. And the story behind that, it was, it was actually so weird because at the time I was dealing with something that was um, obviously like a pretty all-consuming thought and idea. And um, the people who I, who, I were writing, who I was writing with that day came in and they were, and I started talking about how I feel like I, my priorities aren't in check because, you know, I've wanted this one thing, meaning my career and everything else that comes with that for so long, all of a sudden this new thing enters your life and you're like, shit, I have this weird distraction that's pulling me away from the thing that I, you know, have dedicated so much of my time towards. And they were like, oh my God, that's so weird that you used to wear priorities because on the way here we were talking about like what we should write about and we were saying priorities is such a cool word and I was like, wait, that's so weird. That's obviously like supposed to happen. So we just wrote that song and it was so easy. And I just remember like, it's very rare when you walk out of a room and you feel like, damn, I think I just did something that was like really cool. Better stop what I'm doing, get it together, close my eyes. I got somewhere to be in the morning. I know it's important, but I can't sleep. I should start on my priorities Is it you or my dreams? Man, I'm just 17 I don't know what the hell means more to me Always thought that I knew But you got me confused I should start on my priorities My sister got to college too She's even working a job Seems like 
just gonna write a song about a boy <laughs> when I sat down um, but I had just gotten off the phone with with my aunt and every single night obviously when when you write you write about things that you're going through and things that you're feeling and dealing with and blah 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 and I um and I was on the phone with my aunt and she was telling me she's like listen she's like you've written so many songs recently about this person she's like give yourself a break and like sit down and write about yourself just write about you. And I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever, okay. Um, got off the phone and I started writing like this. Um, and the first two lines were about this person who I was writing all these other songs about and I like stopped for a second and I just kept hearing her voice like on loop in my head and I was like, damn it, I should probably write about something that isn't about him. And, um, and then it just poured out of me and it was like, it was all bubbling up in there for so long because I had gone through all these experiences and like there were little glimpses and like moments in my life in the last couple of years that I'd written a couple songs about each of those experiences individually. But the reason I love I'm Better so much is because it feels like I like, I'm doing like little bullet points of everything that had gone down in the last couple of years without fully explaining it. And like the, the obviously like the ribbon like the bow on top is like, oh, I'm, I'm okay now. Like I got through those experiences and I don't even really have to talk about them anymore because I'm on the other side. I honestly don't think it's difficult to be vulnerable through my music. I think that's the only way I know how. Oh my God, there's like poems in, in here from when I was like 14. <laughs> this is a song I wrote about a 35 year old man when I was 15. <laughs> If you're standing back there, please don't, because that means you can see over my shoulder. What? <laughs> you, can see, you can see my journal. I can see your journal from there? And can you write like a, a, an ant? I mean, how do you see it? Um, I wrote War at the end of last year. Um, it's about my relationship with my mom. What's the, the opening lyric is um. I spent so many quiet nights just on the I spent so many quiet nights on the couch on the couch listening to cry for us. Spent so many quiet nights just on the couch listening to you cry for us, and it's so obvious. And that kind of just it's literally what it is. Um, I was sitting on the couch and she was having an argument, and it was something to do with us it was about us um and i wrote it down in my notes that line my mom and i like we we argue all the time but it's like it's just it's about stupid shit and it's mostly because we're we're so similar maybe so, you should do a little bit of that rhythm play a little bit of that dude mom i'm in the me. middle of this fucking thing like why but i get scared when i'm close to you but sad when you leave the room and there's so much to say you know, she is my foundation. She's like, I look to her for everything. Like, I've been lost, like, I'm really lost. I love you without her. Um, it doesn't mean she doesn't make me want to throw my fist through a concrete wall, but like, I love her. was fun. I was writing in the end while my mom and Alice were like cooking in the kitchen and when I listen <laughs> I could actually probably find it like of the original voice memo I took of the song that I wrote that night. Um, you hear Alice going, I love this song in the background. <laughs> 
uh, it's so funny because that song is, is truly fully about self-sabotage and the, and the idea of like, wow, I like just kind of forget about all these other things and focus on this one thing. And then I come home at the end of the day and realize, and like question, oh, why do I feel lonely? Why do I feel this? Where are my friends? And then I'm like, oh, it's because I didn't answer anybody. And I decided to like pretend no one else exists so I could focus on this thing. Next day, I brought it in to Nikki and this amazing human and songwriter named Steph. You have like 10 minutes that way. Don't worry about it. Right. Mm -hmm. Tell me why I feel so sick. Every time something goes my way mm -hmm. And why break off friendships Just so I have something to say mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm pretty happy with the decision for putting out In The End first My whole thing before releasing music Because I have so many songs is like, okay, what's something I can put out That gives like the most insight into, into who I am as a person and I, that meant for me not making it about a relationship. Um, and also, like, I posted a piano version of me singing in the end um, on Instagram, like, a few months prior to releasing anything. Oh my god, I've been on a if it helped me shed a tear. And people just reacted incredibly positively towards it. And then obviously, like, I love the song and the demo was so sick and the bridge, I just loved that. There, like, there was such good energy to the song and I was like, I feel like this is like something cool to leave with. Will it be worth it? Will it be worth it? Should I play the original voice memo of that song? It was a full on ballad. This is the night I wrote it. I just found this the other day. I was stupid, but I was stupid just for you. So weird. It's it's kind of it's a metaphor. Like it's not actually like I want to get on an airplane and fly to someone, except for the fact that this person did live in another state. But it's basically just like you know I would do anything to be where this person is right now. What am I to do? What am I to lose if I could but I I got to you? Thank you guys so much for listening to the Ventura Boulevard EP. I truly cannot even begin to describe how happy it made me to read the responses and hear the responses and i'm so excited to release more music in 2020 there is so much of it thank you i love you i really 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 love you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you, thank you.